What's up family? Welcome back to another a valuable video by Prophetic Forex. I'll be showing you a very good sniper entry that you can use in the markets daily to make profits. And of course, this is based on smart money and ICT. So those of you who've been struggling with those concepts, there's a lot of things that have been thrown around internet and you don't really understand which one to use that you can build up an edge. This video is definitely for you. And of course, this is gonna help you to make so much money. And it is very much important that you can find the right broker to do that. And that's why we have partnered up with XM. So if you want the right broker, please do click the link in the description of the video to actually sign up with our link. It's really gonna help this channel and yourself because they will be giving you 30 uh, US dollars on your first account. If it's your second time opening with them, click the link as well, open an account under us. They will give you 50% on your deposit. So when you deposit something, they will give you 50% equity on that. So make sure you take the opportunity. It is an amazing broker, the world's most trusted broker when it comes to the brokerage industry. So anyway, we're gonna jump onto the screen right now and I want your utmost attention with this. I'm gonna do it in faces. I'm gonna lay it out for you. Then we can go into the examples and I need you to watch till the end and apply this. There's no use watching knowledge without applying it. Remember, skill is knowledge applied. Thank you. Okay, family, so we are on NASDAQ. As you guys know, I do trade NASDAQ as my only pair. Um, I do trade DEX there and there, mostly NASDAQ and DEX. Um, yeah, as my secondary pair. So, but this strategy works anywhere family that you may find yourself on the markets. There are conditions that you gotta look for and with those conditions, it's gonna work best. And I'm gonna expose all of them. So I need your utmost attention. Please don't mind my voice, I'm a bit sick. Um, so yeah. <coughs> so I just wanna draw for you something here uh, that you wanna look for. So first thing of all, Let's say we're in a bearish trend. Let me just make this a bit thicker here uh, so that we can have it being visible to you guys. Okay. Let's go ahead. Let's start again. So I want to draw a diagram for you here. This is how I want you to look at it. Let's say it's a bearish trend. It creates a low, creates a lower high. As the market breaks, that lower low okay as it breaks this lower low I, I want you to watch how it breaks the lower low and how it pulls back as soon as it pulls back to that lower low that's when you're gonna pull your trigger and some might say well this is break and retest but this is break and retest um, with more confluence and what I mean I want you to watch how it breaks I want you to only look for when it breaks it with um, an imbalance candle right or a fair value gap or when it creates fair value gap so i want you to look at the momentum that it breaks this um that structure with right and as soon as you have an imbalance here you have a candlestick that has a lot of momentum here what you're gonna do you're basically gonna be taking an other a breaker so the last candle here that's displayed the last candle here you're gonna take that and stretch it across in the middle of the fair value gap. So what you would mark here as a fair value gap, you're gonna stretch it across. And you can name this fair value gap plus breaker, okay? And this works each and every time. So what I want you to do, as soon as it pulls in there, you put in your trigger. You can wait for candlestick confirmations. <coughs> as I said, family, I'm a bit sick while I'm doing this video. But nevertheless, it's just flu that's going to pass. So as you can see, that's exactly what I'm talking about over there. And the very same diagram does apply to a bullish market. Uh, it's in a, a bullish market, creates a high low, breaks that with momentum that of course leaves imbalance or fair value gaps. And then of course you're going to want to, to pull back to the breaker and you pull your trigger. So of course we're looking at you pulling your trigger here or we're looking at you pulling your trigger here. Again, you want the conditions to be met 
only when the market did break this with a very strong momentum that creates imbalance in there again you're gonna take the last candle up here you're gonna take all of it that breaker you're gonna stretch it across and the market comes back you put on your trigger again you can just name this fair value gap plus breaker this is a very simple strategy especially if you're a beginner and you don't know exactly where to be in this is a very simple method now i'm gonna go down here and you'll see exactly what i'm talking about guys please do subscribe i'm going through the most right now through this flu but i managed to actually do this for you guys okay and of course if you do not know we have our mentorship guys that's available uh, if you do want I can give you 40% off so you just type in the, uh, the coupon that you see on the screen right now and you can just go to our website uh, this is only valid till the month end of June if you're interested go ahead you're gonna have an amazing community to be part of right so let's just continue here just to show you maybe you can make money from this trading method and become part of us as well okay so I'm just gonna show you what happened today, right? This is today, this is the current market where I did trade on this cell. And as you can see, there was this last candle over here. I'm just gonna play it back so that you can uh, see it properly. It actually gave two entries, but nevertheless, this is how it happened. As you can see, uh, when it came to this, this was uh, initially an uptrend let me just get something this was initially an uptrend as you can see and the market gives us a dis uh, a market displacement or a change of character once it does that i was just waiting for it to pull back here and then i was going to pull down my trigger and that's exactly what the market did let's just go ahead and see that so as you can see there was a lot of momentum with that candle and therefore i was gonna just highlight the fair value gap but as you can see the last candle there i took all of that so that bearish candle and stretched it across and there was my fair value gap plus my breaker okay and of course when the market pulls back into it as you can see you pull the trigger and you're good to go it can still come back two times that's all right just take the opportunity as it goes you can of course take your profit at the next structure okay there we go again i did use it uh, in a bullish market okay so i'll just show you right here how that worked out let me just play it back okay let's just remove this one again we do know what happened they there is that high the market breaks it creates a fair value gap there and when it pulls back you just pull the trigger okay so the more momentum here the higher the probability so there was a fair value gap here even though it filled it the first time it can still come back to it to fill it again right and if you can see that's what the market did it just rallied all the way up now we can also have the very same thing taking place here uh, again with this breaker here there was a lot of momentum and again this is i mean the more momentum you have the higher the uh, i mean the higher the the quality of the signal that you're gonna get as you can see there was a huge momentum that broke through that that created a huge fair value gap so through that fair value gap you just take the last candle here in fact this is how you must do it okay but i just refine it to that small candle okay but i just like you to obey the, the actual strategy something like this so you combine the fair value gap and the last candle there and of course you can just label it to fair value gap and breaker and of course once the market pulls back as you can see it broke that pull back and you could have pulled the trigger and closed at the next structure which was here okay it's as simple as that guys we do not need to over complicate this it's a very 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 beautiful simple strategy yes it is derived from break of structure but this has more assurance to you entering the trade or not and the very same thing here as you can see especially when there's a displacement of structure so what we mean by that is when the market 
was in a bullish trend as you can see it was in a very strong bullish trend and suddenly the market just breaks all of that that low that it uses family you want to go ahead and take that low as your entry and look what it did okay so that's a very very beautiful one again the longer the momentum or the stronger the momentum where it breaks that the higher the probability of that signal okay and i'm gonna go over here i don't want this video to be too long and i'm getting worse as i'm just talking over and over here but as you can see there was a breaker over here okay and of course there was a market again coming in with momentum breaking this high over here and taking that fair value gap okay so you can see when the market pulled back it pulled back again very beautifully so you want the market to break it with momentum when it pulls back you pull the trigger simple guys if you don't know any trading strategy if you're not confident this is a strategy that will leave you with profits at the end of the day and as i as i said family we are powered by uh accent.com so make sure to click the link in the description of the video to actually use this and again family 40 percent off our course uh, for the month of June so make sure to be part of us we have a very active community this is lifetime membership with us definitely this is the opportunity to jump in at uh, thank you again for watching this video till this point make sure to also subscribe like and share this video with your friends and family God bless you